Okita Nicholson got this started at 1 p.m. Here at the Jackson Sports Complex. And Treasure Beach with the first real opportunity. Rafik Bryan, new signing, scored last week against, against Portmore United, one of his old teams. Couldn't find the finish there, just leaning back. Then this shot from Marlon Pennycook, who was good from the get-go, Pennycook. That strike, lots of power behind it, but just too much elevation over the top. He had this strike, which was on target, sting in the palms of Morgan. Good free kick it was from Pennycook on his favoured left side. And Morgan did well. Mar Morgan had a good game as well, for the most part. It was pretty safe. Then Treasure Beach driving forward. Chance here. And did find the back of the neck, Kadeem Stone, but he was in an offside position. Richter Archer with his flag up. And Treasure Beach denied the go-ahead. Then this move from Pennycook into the area. Pennycook probably was fouled even before that. Decided to continue. Should have just ticked that over Morgan, who came out and made himself big. Pulled it wide, did Pennycook. And was disappointed with his finish. They continued to cause problems. Here was Pennycook again, running at the back line. Would cut on to his left foot here, Pennycook. Pennycook bending that towards the far corner. And Morgan with the exciting save. Two hands to it. Not finding the finish. Disappointment for the bench. But I think Pennycook did really well. And so he did here in the second half. Brought down. Big moment for Lime Hall. Okita Nicholson says penalty. And Pennycook probably went down pretty easily. But there was a push in his back. And he would make no mistake from 12 yards out into the back of the net, his first of the season, a man of the match performance for Lime Hall's number eight, and Morgan was finally beaten. Yep, that was it, Lime Hall, their first win in the Rayan Nephew Jamaica Premier League, thanks to Marlon Pennycook.